Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome, how are you? How are you doing? Everybody okay? Everybody fine? Hello? Good evening. Great. Great for the people that already say good evening. Nice. Great. Welcome. Welcome to class and welcome back. Some people are sick. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, hope I hope that everybody it's okay, that everybody's fine, that everybody's able to be in class, that everybody's able to practice and learn. So that is the most important thing right now. Okay. Welcome to our class number 13, right? Yes, more than half of the course already. Yeah. Let me let me see where we are. Yes, definitely. This is our class thirteen. Oh yes, sorry. My mistake, my bad. Let me edit. This is intermediate four in the class thirteen. Totally. I just got a typo on this. Okay. Okay. Well, today is Wednesday, October the 11th. It's almost half of the month as well. So, I wish all the best for this class. I wish you're fine. And the reminders for the attendance, the reminders for the video conference as well. It's also important to be reminded. All right, so in this unit, we are describing fundamentals of warehousing management identifying common issues related to warehousing processes, providing suggestions to solve common issues related to warehousing processes, explain safely measures related to different processes at a warehouse. So basically, we're gonna be a story. Uh, yeah, yesterday we kind of, let's say, had uh, an overview of the unit three, which is about warehousing. So we're gonna continue going on that topic. So let me see. We're gonna be able to cover that content from the unit three, and mainly a couple of cent um yeah a couple of lessons from that unit as well. Okay. So before anything else happens, we have to take attendance. Let me make sure it is the correct one. Okay, here. Here. Okay, Abigail Elizabeth. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Atilio Ernesto. Not here. All right. Elizabeth Stephanie. Good evening, present. All right. Good evening. 
Oh, I see you expressing on the chat. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining really hard. And he can hear it. So he can hear anything. All right. Emerson? Emerson, Emerson? I don't know. Fernando? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Francisco? Present on the chat as well. Hazel? Hazel, Hazel? I'm afraid I never hear Hazel. All right. Julissa? Neither Julissa. Okay, Carla. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, Luis Javier. Present me. Hello, good evening. Luis Miguel. Not here yet. Maybe under the rain. Just like a video. So let's see. Magiel. Present. Good evening. Manuel Alexander. Hello. Good evening. Present. Hello. Good evening. Marilyn. Good evening, teacher, president. Still sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Mario Ernesto. Present. Hello, good evening. Roberto Saul. Robert, not here. Ronald Alexander. Not here. Okay. Victor Lee. Present. Uh, good evening. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good evening. Okay. Victor, not here. Mm, apparently, no. Okay. Vidal. And Wally. Present. So how are you? Nice. Nice. Carlos Alberto. All right. Well. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay, good, good, good. Well, as I was mentioning at the beginning, that we already started talking about warehousing, right? So yesterday, we, do you remember the conversation? What was the conversation about? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Anybody remembers the conversation? The conversation was about this, this, and this. Yes, I hear you. Anyone defending the owner of this group? <laughs> Rose and Matt are discussing the storage problem they are facing. Yeah, they were discussing the storage problem they were facing because? Because the warehouse, were, well, the warehouse they are using is full. Uh-huh, the warehouse that they usually use, that they 
They are used the word spoon. And then what they decide to do? To absorb the shipment for a temporary warehouse. Exactly. So they came up with this idea of using a 3PL, right? So they, they made the paperwork, so they prepared the documents so that they could hire a temporary warehouse, right? Or they could move the shipment to another or safe place because they mentioned that the, I mean, the products, it was not recommendable to leave it there, just lying down anywhere, right? So they say it's, it's going to get damaged. So they made that decision. All right, nice. Okay, great. Well, before getting into details, okay, talking about this serious issues from, you know, serious issues from the the unit because it's something that we probably don't talk about every single day. But I want you to relax a little bit and I'm going to give you a very easy exercise. I bet you are going to relax with this exercise. It's so simple. And let me just... Hmm. Yes, this it's going to be really easy. Just a couple of questions you have to unscramble. I'll give you the link and you work in it so that we can go there in a little while. This is gonna it's not gonna take you more than three minutes, all right? So hold on. Okay, let's see. Let's talk a little bit about your past activities. Okay, check it out, open it up, and work in it. Then we can solve the exercise, ask the questions, and interact asking and answering the questions among us, right? I'll give you a couple of minutes to work in it. Just a couple of minutes, all right? You'll have a timer. <laughs>
Good evening, partners. Did you finish? Good evening. Yes, Hello. I finished. Yes, I, I did. I did it. Finish. Okay, we can start to compare. The first one, we can go one by one. I will start with the first one. Did you see your friend last night? Yes, that's right. Number two, did you go grocery shopping last weekend? Mm -hmm. yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Number three, did you watch a movie last night? Really? Yes. Number four, did you stay home yesterday? Nice. Number five, did you make dinner on Thursday? Good. Number six, did you have a party last Saturday? Good. All right, how was it? Pretty easy, right? Okay, we're gonna be sharing these questions. Just a couple of questions for you to warm up asking about what you did in the past, past activities, right? So I'm gonna be asking, let me see. Wait a second. Well, today is Wednesday, so probably you cannot say Thursday, but yesterday, Monday, Sunday, right? So I'll ask Stephanie, did you make dinner yesterday? You can either answer on your microphone or on the chat. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know why Stephanie's not answering, so let's ask somebody else. Um, uh, that did you make dinner yesterday? Not answer. Liz Javier, did you make dinner yesterday? Uh, 
Hello, teacher. I Luis Corbera. Hi. Yes, I did. Really? Yes, I I make a sandwich. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, I din diner. <laughs> diner. <laughs> right. Okay, good. Did you stay home yesterday? So, Mr. Corvera, can you ask this question to another person? Yes, I, yes, I did. <laughs> Absolutely. No, you ask this question to another person. Ah, uh, um, yeah, let me see if everybody is listening. No? Um, Marilyn Grande? Yeah. Did you stay home yesterday? No. In my case, no, and I I stay at my work. So you say, no, I didn't. I went to work. Okay, I didn't. I went to work. Nice. Okay. All yeah. right. So, Marilyn? To 11 at night. All right. My goodness. Yeah. You ask the next question to another person. Okay. You can change the day for Monday, for Sunday. Okay, um, Francisco. Mm, Mario. Okay, nadie está aquí. <laughs> Perdón. Okay. Perdón, yo estoy igual bueno, pero que usted. Okay. Okay, then Mario, did you make dinner on Monday? No, I didn't. I bought. Somebody else made. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Miss there. You can ask this following question to another person. Atilio, did you have party last Saturday? <laughs> Atilio, Atilio. Uh, di no, I didn't. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, you always have, have parties. They do. It's not true. And you? <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 Atilio. We have to choose another person. Stephanie. Stephanie, did you stay home yesterday? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, I did. All right. Stephanie, you choose another person. Okay. Let me see. Mm. Um, Fernando, did you go grocery shopping last weekend? No, I didn't. I will go to grocery shopping this weekend. Great. Okay, that's a good point. When you answer this type of question, we usually answer with the same auxiliary, but we can expand a little bit, right? For example, if somebody asks me, did you make dinner? 
yesterday? You know, my answer is negative. And I say, no, I didn't. I bought something or I grabbed something on my way home or somebody else in my house made dinner and they share with me, okay? Well, like what Fernanda just did. No, I didn't. Didn't go shopping last weekend. I will go this coming weekend, right? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So what did did you watch a movie last night? No, I, I didn't. It was at work. Really? Until what time? Until nine. Really? No, no, no. Until eight. But I, I came right to the right to be here in the class. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, or yeah. even you could say, no, I didn't. I was in class, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. That was an easy one. All right. Instead of last weekend, you can say last Sunday, last Saturday, last Monday, or any other date in the past. Let's see. Um, uh, Victor, did you go grocery shopping uh, yesterday? Maybe we choose somebody else. Uh, let's see. Matiel, did you go grocery shopping uh, yesterday? No. Uh, I didn't. I didn't go to the grocery shopping. I had a busy day. I was working all day long. <laughs> <laughs> all right and i don't usually go shopping on monday I usually go shopping on sundays or on saturdays <laughs> right so you can expand your answer okay all right. mm -hmm. yeah all right well that was just a little warm-up for you to get used to interacting in past activities all right Let's see. Let's go back to the topic. All right. As I started describing the fundamentals of warehouse management, so that's what we're basically going to be discussing. I just brought this photo as a reference, OK? What do you know about warehouse management? What do you think it involves? What is all this related to? What sort of equipment, um, vehicles, what sort of place do we need? Okay, what is everything related to warehouse? Think about it, look at the picture, try to make up some sentences, okay? Try to say what you understand, what you know about warehousing or warehouse management, okay? And is there any technician? Teacher, yes? What is the name of this machine? Cargo lifter, something like that, probably. Cargo, cargo lifter. Lifter could be. And this is like a vodka, something like that, or is throw. I think it's a truck. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a lift. The other one is a pallet. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Ah, you well, see. Where is the pallet? The the second one on. The second one is a lift. 
Yes. Lift. That's, that is lift. It's kind of an elevator, yeah. right? And the first one Eight is in pallet. Pallet. And what is what this is used for? Uh, the first one mm -hmm. just lift uh, lift a little height. Mm. And the other one could uh, lift higher. Heavier and higher things. Yeah. Oh, nice. So this one is, is I mean, the first one is used manually, I suppose. Yes, it's manual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, there are, there are, that's uh, a weight, right? Weight. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's a right? Yes, it's, mm -hmm. it's a pass. So weight, you just it's a weight is scale because you use it to to measure the weight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is everything related to warehouse? I don't know if the companies where you work for that are warehouses, like they own warehouses. Because at the place where I work, I mean, obviously it's not for, well, actually there is one, there is one, but I'm not very close to that area. But I think there is one that they, they call it for the finished product. And they also have this, this type of trucks. They they have this um, uh, type of, I don't know if they call it logistic uh, area. But they also move the finished products for. I'm not quite sure if they if they move it just around the country or if they get another. Another outsourcing to move it all the Central American area, but the the warehouse is over there. So, I think, they must have this type of a staff and personnel inside. Or they all know what I mean, what sort of job they do, but I'm I'm just like very far away from that area, so I'm not very familiar with. But I know the spaces, the facilities exist there, so they usually have this type of lift as well. Mm -hmm. What about your companies? Do you know anything about warehousing in your company? Yes, in our company we have the a big warehouse out of San Salvador because it's a huge building. We have I think um, ten buildings, a huge building. But the company have the buildings, the tools, but the is operating from outsourcing to move anything for 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 around the country is cargo express ah so they use an outsourcing to do the logistics but they do have the warehouse from the own yeah. company yes they operate in the, the warehouse and they in the product that they move is eh, many things uh cell phones modems um uh, raw materials for the, the infrastructure for if it, if TTH is like a fewer uh, um, so cables yeah, wires yeah, cables wires yes uh -huh. oh wow okay. also and where is the warehouse located San Martin San Martin San Salvador yes all right. Yeah. And that distributes all these products are all, all around the country, all over El Salvador. Also, America, so, Central, Central America. Central America. Central America. Yeah. Mm, nice. So from that, the airport for the Acajutla port. Okay, everything enters by Acajutla port. So then they use the outsourcing to 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 move um, to yeah to, to move it to, to transport it to the warehouse. All right, yes. interesting. It's a huge, it's a it's like a city there. Really? Yeah. That, that sounds very interesting. Actually, it would be a very interesting experience if we could go and visit those, you know, and yeah. understand a little bit how 
everything it's move how everything works there right uh actually in this place we have a high tech technology for security I bet. we don't <laughs> we can use the phone in this in this in this area really? yeah because of safety because people oh, oh because safety, the company. confidential things oh. uh, many things many things all right so it's it's everything related to safety yeah i bet all right nice yeah i was telling you because uh and maybe I, I didn't mention this before obviously i'm not in the industrial area because as you see i'm a teacher of english so i work for a foundation for the program empresarial superative so there are some uh, companies here in the country that have this um social I don't know how they call it in English, but it's like labor social, so social labor probably. So they uh have this foundation inside the company. So I work for adult company and adult company definitely they have finished products, right? And also raw materials warehousing. But since the company is huge, I'm just in the part of the foundation. So I just see sometimes because I move around because we have a, a mini bank inside the company so when i go up there so i see that people are moving that trucks are coming in and out from this place so i bet that there are a couple of warehouse mainly for raw material i guess and for finished products so i bet they also move all these products all over the country and central america but i'm not quite sure if they use their own logistics uh, area or if they pay the 3PL. Okay, so nice. Anybody else would like to share? No. Well, Let's build vocabulary, okay? We got to read the definitions below and match the examples to the corresponding term. Uh, warehouse management. Let's see, what dear, would you like to read the definition, please? Warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of the warehouse, such as shipping, receiving, put away, um, picking of Good. Goods. Goods is products, right? Nice. So warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse, such as shipping, receiving, put away, and picking up goods. All right. So definitely it's all the work done in the warehouse, right? So is it the same as a stock control? Anybody else would like to read about the stock control? Uh, a stock control? is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of a warehouse operations. That's right. So in simple words, what's the difference between warehouse management and stock control? I think that the warehouse management is more is is more complete than the stock control because the warehouse management you control the shipping, the receiving, and uh, the picking and the distribution and the distribution. This is like uh, all the all the system. It's uh, more general, for, right? Uh, as, as example, mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, uh, stock control is a focus is is focus on the inventory is a. Yes. Uh, uh -huh, the inventory but the warehouse uh, implies the distribution the uh, 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 another um, related processes mm -hmm, definitely a stock control yes is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right right so they definitely have to have everything labeled put on the safe place and counted on the, on the right amounts and the right quantities so they have all these numbers well well done right and of course what well, i mean warehouse management it's bigger it's 
more general. It involves more processes, right? So, and it's a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of a warehouse operation. So there are many more processes, right? All right. If, okay, so on this thing, it says read the definition below and match the examples to the corresponding terms. So these are the examples, right? It tells you where the items are and the order in which they need to be picked. What would be this? Warehouse management. That would be the warehouse management. Okay, it means that you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. What would this be? The first one is stock control, and the second one is warehouse management. All right, it tells you where the items are, so and in order in which they need to be picked. This would be the warehouse control, and it means that you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. So this would be the warehouse management. Is the control of the day-to-day -day operations of the warehouse, or both are? The stock control. <laughs> to me, both sound very similar. See, yes, it's very similar, but if in the first sentence, in the last part, say, which they need to be piked and the manager and warehouse management say, put away and picking, of course, the thing is warehouse management. The first one will be the warehouse management. In orders in which they need to pick. It. And it means how many, maybe because of how many, and that is involves counting, right? In making inventory of a particular product. Okay, let's leave it like that. Then the second one will be the stock control. All right, so for you to have a better idea, probably I will do it from, hold on, yes. Yes, because it doesn't, I mean, let me say much. Let me see, wait a second. Yeah, I will share directly from the PDF. Yeah, it doesn't say much, just say the definitions, yes. And the examples. All right. Then we have more vocabulary. So building vocabulary, the following are basic type of warehouses. Match the type of warehousing to the definition. All right, so I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read, analyze, and say which one is each of the definitions, right? So here, suppose that they are not in order, right?
Hello. Hello. How's it going? Uh, you finished the exercise? Somebody have finished the exercise? Uh, I think only just yes, read, read the, the petition. Uh, what was the exercise? The is a link or no? I suppose that and the manual says wait, wait. You have to do the part five. Building vocabulary, the following are basic type of warehouse, match the type of warehousing to its definition. Is the page 26 of the book? Yeah, the first one is holding warehouse, and I think it is a traditional warehouse where space is used for temporary and long term storage. Yeah, it makes sense. Number two, I have that is it serves larger regions and good are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Yes. And the last one, well, is cross the consent. And the only one that left is it can be named a terminal or sort consent. And the focus is only on receiving and shipping activities. We'll leave it to no storage. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Holding warehouse, which would be the definition? Let's see. Traditional warehouse who was paid is used for temporary, temporal and long-term storage. That would be a holding warehouse. Yes. Traditional warehouse whose space is used to temp for temporal and long-term storage. All right. Distribution center. It's uh, larger regions and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Okay, this would be the distribution. It serves large regions, larger regions, sorry, in goods are stored. Shorter time, most of it used for picking up a consolidation order. So cross docking center would be Receiving and shipping, that's the main focus, right? So the last one, okay, you can be named a terminal of certain center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. So there's, I mean, products are not really storage, they just kind of are picked once they are left there, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is lots of new vocabulary and we are supposed to prepare a presentation describing the type of warehouse service that you would need to match the business strategy of your company. Maybe we are not very familiar with old business that the companies we work for make. Well, we know but very little. So this would be hypothetically speaking, what sort of warehouse do you think your company most likely need? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to think about it and then come up with an 
an explanation or a description of the type of warehouse you think would be most suitable for the company that you work for. Okay? So take your time, couple of minutes, and then you let us know. So we're gonna be, probably you can first tell your partner so that you can kind of rehearse what you're saying. So we have to like invent or or do with a imaginary company, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, first we need to to create our company and what kind of company it will be. Maybe something easy like a shoe store. Yes, I yes. agree. So if you if we have a like a shoe store, mm. if we have a shoe store, I think that we will need like a holding warehouse to store all the shoes that. We will sell and then a uh, distribution center hmm? because I think we can we can have like a types of warehouse. Mm, that's true. First the holding warehouse and then the distribution center. Mm -hmm, that's true. So. Basically, that is <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the holding warehouse, we received all the pair of shoes from the factory, 
And then in the distribution center, we used to transport from the warehouse and then to the to retail, retail stores. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay, can we start? Let's see. We can start with. All right. It says that you've got to prepare a presentation describing the type of warehouse service that you will need to match the business strategies of your company in case you want to talk about your I mean the company that you work for it's fine or you want to create a hypothetical situation right and then present your information to the class and discuss possible improvements all right so who's the first one who wants to be the first one shall we start with what did hello hi well we uh, we imagine that we are going to put like a shoe store and for the shoe store we are gonna need First, a uh, distribution center mm -hmm. that uh, connect the factory mm -hmm. um, with the retail stores, and because uh, the, the 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 factory will send the the shoes they produce to the distribution mm -hmm. center, and from the distribution center, the shoes will, will gonna be sent to the different retail stores, mm -hmm. and in the retail store they gonna need a small holding warehouse to store the shoes they are gonna sell. Right, very good. All right, the next one would be Ronald. Alice Javier. Well, some people are not connected, probably. <laughs> okay, my dear. Um. I was with uh, Waldir. Uh -huh. They are talking about the uh, shoes, shoes company to to send a product or to um, um 
other other web warehouse through the through cargo mm -hmm. to distributing for uh, around the country in a different mm -hmm. uh, different warehouse or a, a retailer all right yeah so it would be the same business <laughs> yeah all right good anyone else would like to do their presentation uh me uh, sorry because i have a uh... Internet internet problems. Oh, um, yeah, I saw you were disconnected for a while. Uh, uh I have to I have to 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 share uh -huh. what a strategy of what a house I could prefer. Yeah, in case you want to have a company or in the case you want to, to talk about what you can see there is, is the best uh options for the company that you work for. Mm -hmm. I think um that um in the case of, that uh, if I'm if I am the company that I'm that I'm uh, I'm looking for a triple uh, uh uh sorry uh, a warehouse a a warehouse uh company uh, a warehouse service mm -hmm. I think that the best um it would be the holding warehouse mm -hmm. because uh, is uh, be, because the I. I I don't have to invest uh, in to invest uh, as, as as part of my own uh, of my own costs uh, mm -hmm. the, the the warehouse of all my of my shippings mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. in, in this case I think that the holding warehouse is the best option because it gives me the the complete service of uh the the shipping the the shipping the distribution and uh in in the storage of all my 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 materials and and products so mm -hmm. i think i i would prefer and i would choose a holding warehouse mm -hmm. but if i am but if i am a company mm -hmm. uh, that offers warehouse warehouse services i think and maybe if for uh, for to saving costs, um, I think the cross docking center could okay. be the best, uh, the 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 best um option in the best option because because it, it doesn't represent an investment in in, in capacity mm -hmm. because I it is a, so because it depends of the um of the uh, of the merchandise mm -hmm. that I, I storage. For example, if I have, uh, if I uh, I could, if I if I should, if I will offer um, a specific, uh, if I will offer a storage, mm -hmm. I have to be specific in what uh, what type of storage I will I will offer. Because, mm -hmm. for example, if I will if I if I offer a storage for uh, for food or that uh, it, it, it is necessary a special conditions special or equipment. for example freezers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, special equipment because i uh, i don't um, i could not i could not provide a variety of of type of storage because mm -hmm. i have to focus in one type mm -hmm. and i think that i if i if i choose to offer a cross docking center uh, a services like a cross docking center i don't have to uh to carry all these responsibilities all all these investments because mm -hmm. i will only um receive and ship receive mm -hmm. and, and deliver uh, ship mm -hmm. uh, have receive and deliver so mm -hmm. i will not uh, have to invest uh, in in, in this courses. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you think of both, right? In case you have a, a a company that will need the warehousing service, and in case you will offer the warehousing service. All right. That's being visionary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely a man of business. All right. <laughs> Someone else? Or enough? <laughs> enough. Well, let me see. 
I just got this exercise to entertain a little bit on the uh, vocabulary of the warehouse. Probably, uh, let me see. Yeah, probably you will have to find some of them. You will have to find the definition because it's not daily basis vocabulary. Even if we work in a warehouse, it would be a little bit hard. So I will recommend you that if you are not really sure what they do, you can look for the definition. That's totally valid, okay? So let me see. I'm going to share the link, work in it. It would be easier if you definitely work with somebody else so that you can be exchanging ideas. Let me see. There you go. Open it and we can work on it together. I don't have that problem, but okay. in my case, yeah. it's the Wi Fi. I know it's a Wi Fi, but in your case, I don't know. Charles. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I will try to connect uh, on the. On the The first one is vehicle designed to carry loads in a around warehouse. I think it is lift trucks. Yeah, it, that that is.
but there are some words, some terms that I don't know, like con conveyor, conveyor. I don't know what is that. Also, what is O S H A OSHA? <laughs> I have that conveyor is a warehouse transport system that uses wheels, rollers, chains, and bells to move product through the facilities. And OSWA, I bet, is the governmental agency that ensures safety of employees for the scarlet, I think that. that... Yeah, Somebody finished? Yes, but I got many mistakes. <laughs> I have but two. The first one, it is lift group, but the second one I got wrong. I don't know you. I had order picker. Order picker. Okay, other picture the second one. The third one is a governmental agency that ensures safety of employees. That is OSHA. Uh -huh. The fourth one, uh, when the weight of a lift truck offsets uh, the weight of the loaded carriers is counterbalance. Counterbalance is the fourth one. Oh, and the fourth one. The fifth one, use a uh, physical force to move, lift, retrieve, and store goods and product is manual material handling. Uh huh. Uh, the next one, four lift truck equip, equip, 
with pneumatic tires that can be operated on a row and on on row areas without hosting the load is yard truck. Yard truck. Uh -huh. Optimally we route material handling set device to predetermined destination using control system is automated material handling. Um, I have. I ha I have also automatic material handle, but it is wrong, brother. And it's wrong, so maybe it's automatic guy at big vehicle. Vehicle. Mm -hmm. We can try. The other mm -hmm. one is use of robots and other computed device for moving, storing, and retrieving goods and products. Uh, so maybe that is automated material handling. Mm -hmm, maybe. The other one is warehouse transport system that use wheels, rollers, chains, and belts to move product through the facility. I think that is a dog board. I have conveyor. And you have a good? Yes. Oh, okay. It is conveyor. And the last one is dog board. Just to bridge the gap between a dock and trailer opening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, everyone's done. Yes. Yes. All good. Almost. <laughs> Bad. But then all good. Nice. So as a reference, right? For the ones that probably got. The lift trucks vehicle designed to pull the loads in and around warehouses. So those are like the most common ones, right? The ones that we always see. <laughs> <laughs> or their thickers <laughs> lift the operate with the load to right locations. Uh this is um an acronym. An acronym it's a word that is formed by spelling in the initial of each of the words, right? So O S H A. 
And it stands for a governmental agency that ensures safety of employees. Let me see. I just got the definition, but let me what that it was. It says that it's occupational safety and health administration. In Spanish, is Seguridad Industrial. Occupational. Or what? I guess something like that. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. Wait a minute. I got a bit lost. Mm, here we go. All right. And counterbalance when the weight of a left track offsets the weight of the load it carries. Manual material handling, use of physical force to move, lift, retreat, and store goods and products. Jar truck, for lift truck equipped with pneumatic tires that can be operated on rough areas without hustling the load. Automatic guided vehicles, automatically roads. Roads material handling devices to predetermine destination using computer system. Automated uh, material handling, use of robots in other computerized devices for moving, storing, and returning goods and products. Conveyors, warehouse transport system. They use wheel, rollers, chains, and belts to move products third of the facility. And that for use bridge the gap between a dock and a trailer opening. Ah, ese como el, el, el lift bridge que ponen para, para cargar los trucks, ¿verdad? It would be nice if you could have all those photos rolling here. All right. <clears throat> Give me a second. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to the next lesson. So here we have um a lesson that starts with obviously the goal to identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse processes. And to start, they have a couple of questions. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? And how do you identify and prevent possible issues? So as the main goal, identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse processes. And of course, we have to identify what are some problems that may affect warehouse providers and how do you identify and prevent possible issues? Which problems do you think warehouse providers have? Lack of space of, as we uh huh. Overloading, overpacking, lack of a staff, probably. Bad communication with the employees. Mm hmm. Issues with the communication with the employees. Uh, equipment damaged, right? Or damaged equipment, or mechanical issues with equipment as well. Power, power outage, electricity. What else? Bad functioning in the system. My computer system issues as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
right? So how we identify and prevent possible issues. Oh my God, that would be a very hard task. They must have like a second and third plan in case something happens. Well, probably after checking the conversation, we come up with more ideas. Let's check the conversation. Mrs. White and Daniel are talking about some issues with purchase orders. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Daniel. So Mrs. White says, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh my God, Daniel. <laughs> oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for the reimbursement. Oh my God, <laughs> okay. I will give you some minutes for you to read the conversation again. And of course, if you have any question, let's discuss it. Let's find out. But I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, try to practice, try to read the whole conversation. I mean, doing both characters, Mrs. White and Daniel, so that you can double check on meaning, on pronunciation, on intonation as well.
Hello. Uh, we are reading. Hello. So what can we do? We read the conversation or just do the exercise? Reading and answer the, the question or complete the sentence. Okay. I'm I, going I, to share. Let me know if you can see the screen. Yes. Yes. Okay. So someone can be Mr. Y and other Daniel. Okay, I'm Daniel. You are okay. Mr. White. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh. I bet it happened and during the day the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the corporate numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we were paid for three incomplete orders. I will send a document to your department by file so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. And do you know what does it mean reimbursement? Uh, a reimbursement is um uh, is in the Spanish a reimburso. It is to give you back the money. Um uh, Okay. Do you want practice? Yes. Uh, I don't know who who is Mrs. White and who is Daniel. I I could be Daniel. Uh, who will be Mrs. White? Okay. I'm a bad boy. Okay, so uh, just start. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase order, but the products receiving, received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance, maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of WIT. Uh, off with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance, finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we, we overpaid for three complete orders. I would, send, I would send the document to your department by file so you can contact the company and ask for a, for a reimbursement. Okay. So uh, we have to to answer the the questions the 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 sentences. So we have to complete it. I completed the. Uh, ah, okay. It, it's okay. Is it okay? Yes. Uh -huh, yes, because it is what is highlighted. I bet it happened during the day the system received maintenance. That's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. Uh -huh, it is, it's correct, correct I, okay. I think. Uh -huh. The information sent to the financial department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete Incomplete orders. Okay.
Only that. Reading and I'm sure. Yes. All right, two volunteers to read the conversation. Raise your hand. Me? Go ahead. You, Mr. White, and we need a Daniel. Uh -huh. Someone else? Someone else? Me? All right. Me teacher. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Start in three. Yeah. Uh, one. Who is who is Mr. White? I'm Mr. White. Yeah. Okay. Um, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase, uh, purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened, uh, happened during the day. The system received maintenance. And that's why your department did receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, uh, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for uh, reimbursement. Yes, very good. Okay, is there any question? It's a You're... correct pronoun teacher. Reimbursement. Or any other word? It's a correct pronoun there, right? Yeah. Reimbursement. Reimbursement. Yes. What is Re the pronoun? Reimbursement. Reimbursement. Okay. Yes. All right. Someone else want to try? Mm hmm. All right, so we're done. Let's do the exercise, read the conversation, and complete the sentence. I bet it happened during the day the system received maintenance. Uh -huh. What word do we need here? That's why. That's why. That's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. Okay. Let me stop sharing because I need to share this. It's going to be. Let's see. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Okay. So I hope you can open this link so where you have to describe. Wait a second. Here. This is, let's say, a notebook. <laughs> but open it up and you will be able to.
you'll be able to click on this. I mean, it's like the plus, but then you get the pencil so you can start writing. So you will describe possible issues a warehouse may have and how to solve them. So similar to what we were discussing at the beginning of the conversation, besides on the conversation, you also have some possible issues that could happen at a warehouse and what can be done, okay? How can they be solved? Mm -hmm. Then you start editing. Maybe you can include your name so that we know whose comment that is. Because otherwise, I'm just going to have a lot of anonymous comments. <laughs> oh, I said no, but that's right. You can also include photos if you like to make your post more attractive. You can copy paste from the from the web. Mm -hmm. How can they be sold? Can you give a little bit of description? Uh huh. Nice. We have Fernando Wadid Ronald. How can they be addressed? How can you solve them? What can be done? And now, backup program, right? You can edit the same the same post so that you don't have to do many times. Can you describe what the problem could be? Exactly what the risk could be. Okay, the weather contingencies create a risk management plan to minimize damages and could take action faster. Yeah, that sounds more accurate. Yes, overcrowding. Okay, how can overcrowding be addressed? How could this be managed? I just have three participants writing. OMG. How can that be possible? How can this issue be addressed as well? Lack of. All right, maybe optimize the space with new arrangement of the product. Good. My goodness. Where are you going to expand on your explanation? In the little ants appear is working.
All right, some software problem that we're going to offer backups and support by the provider if the main program fails. All right. Good. Well, I'm afraid I will have to react just the, your three posts in participation. All right, so I think it's about time for us to have the second attendance. See, I'm gonna go fast, people, so please open up your ears. I'm gonna go with Abigail. Present teacher. Attilio. Listen. Elizabeth, Stephanie, Emerson, Fernando, Listen. Francisco, Hazel, Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Mike Biel, Present. Manuel, Marilyn, present. Mario, present. Roberto, Ronald, Victor, present. Vidal, Waldir, present. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure. Good night, teacher. So tomorrow. Good night. See you. I hope you have finished the midterm already. Yes. Yes. Good. Bye. Bye. And the Padlets. Well, I'm going to take it into account. <laughs>